so here we are talking about problem solving with Victor. I am Maria. And for the first question, <laughs> Victor, when it comes to kids and math, what are your dreams? Sorry, that was a poor quality. Uh, oh. Could you repeat, please? Yeah, we had a lag spike. When it comes to children and this, Hello? Yeah, yeah. When it comes to children... Hello? hello, hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm here. Okay. Yes. When it comes to children and mathematics, what are your dreams? What is it all My about? My dreams? What's important, yes. Well, it's a good it's question. Big question, huh? Not easy to answer, but no. I like uh, uh, all kids. Uh, I believe uh, they they are born to love mathematics, and that's my dream is to to actually to to to, to make it happen uh, in the reality. Because sometimes uh, when we go and we know very well the schools, uh, sometimes uh, picture. Uh, this mm, discipline is very strict, very formal, and uh, do something. Uh, I would see it's like enjoy some, <laughs> enjoy something, and that's I think this side of mathematics is uh, is being lost, uh, or underestimated when we are teaching mathematics. So, in my way is challenging the culture of uh, of ma of mathematics <laughs> as seen as a very uh, strict academic discipline which is a almost a pass a ticket to some careers but first it's, let's try to do something interesting and then uh, and then we'll see what as everyone we need all talents and how to develop this mathematical talent? That's my dream is to find the way. So you dream big about changing the whole cultures, right? It's a big dream. Yes. Wow. So. <laughs> Especially in the North America. Okay. Which I think, uh, which I think uh, should be... Uh, should be discussed in more broader sense than doing assignments and passing tests and having marks. You said every baby is born to mathematics, is born to do mathematics. Yes, sure. Can you talk more about that? How do you know? <laughs> well, I, I, uh, well, <laughs> I, I read some research, but uh, and I do some research. But uh, like just to say, I was in a school uh, which is doing very poorly. One school which is doing very poorly in uh, like uh, formal examinations, provincial examination here in Canada, and then. I realize how many hidden talents there are when they are very young. And when I asked uh, who loved mathematics, like almost everyone raised their hand. So when you go, when they're getting older, and then you ask the same question that maybe not everyone is that happy. So I think the happiness of discovering something new, uh, learning something which is fun, which is innate, uh, this emotional uh, feeling of, uh, and it doesn't mean it's mathematics or whatever, but you play, you know, you play, you 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 think, uh, and you try to challenge. Uh, the challenge is very important to me. Uh, keyword: we do not challenge enough our kids. So they, and then uh, of course you can uh, recall Mowgli if you just put a child in this situation, then the child will never develop uh, her talent. So I think that the hidden, because I'm talking about the talent as a, as a capacity which is demonstrated, but then 
I believe that we we have to work with the potential, and the potential you never know. You can't say there is no potential. So, but potential is very difficult because potential is is very difficult to play with. But yes, I do believe that. But and I read some some papers, some research, and I think uh, this kind of this kind of uh, I think our old school system is to be rebuilt in a way of we which we try to work with the force of the child and not with the weakness and if we put emphasis on weakness and what to do to because when you, we identify someone weak let's do something a different way it's a way around but i think it's still the dream but there is a lot of work which is being done so recently, as your 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 work for example so we work together towards a dream. I share it. I want to say, because yes, when you—that's how you know. When you look at very young children, they have the joy, they play, and they all like it, and then it goes away for some. So the dream is to preserve this, but also develop more rigorous and beautiful and complex mathematical structures, right, as you go? Yeah, of course, I think that uh, mathematics is very uh, is a very interesting uh, subject. Uh, I, I don't like this word, but it's, it's, it's an activity you can say, well, mathematics is everywhere. Oh, okay, well, uh, when I need to pay the bills, I would not do it in I don't see any mathematics here. Well, I can do some kind of uh, thinking why uh, the price is such and such and play a little bit with around, but that's not nothing to do with what, what I need to buy, for example, or to fill in the form. So, it's, uh, so we need to be very careful when we are saying mathematics is everywhere. How to discover this mathematics? How to build on that discovery? How to deepen it? How to enlarge this complexity? Uh, well, we know the work of uh, uh, it's, it's uh, Piaget in research. You know, we know it uh, very well, and we need to we need to keep it going. I mean, if if you don't keep it going, you do not develop it. Uh, well, the the child is born with topology. The child is born with. Uh, uh, with numbers which is with infinity, so but we wait, we wait, 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 wait. Well, they're not able, they're not able, not ready yet. So if we wait till the child is ready, it will never happen with many of them. So uh, we can do much more advanced things with younger kids. Sure. But we need a culture for that, as you said, right? And that's a dream. Yes. That's why we are here together today. <laughs> talking about making materials so you seem very well interested in research obviously that's your work in your life so is it one of your big interests in this course that will discover something or uh, uh, in general is it something is research a part of a big part of your dream well, it's a big part of my uh, my real life. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, I'm doing research here. in education, mathematics education, giftedness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I still learn. I learn everywhere, and that's why your course is uh, is a way of, uh, of building, uh, getting in touch with people who are inspired with uh, those dreams. And I found that that what you're doing is great and. I, I like to learn something new. Um, maybe we can uh, talk later about the methodologies and studies, because this is a pilot, but we'd like to take it to a bigger study. Would you be interested in that? Yeah. To me, find the way uh, to work on my uh, vacation is <laughs> quite challenging. Uh, I will still try hard, but uh, for example, starting in September, I'm doing a lot of uh, activities with, uh, with the children in local schools. Now they're on vacation, <laughs> so of course I can try uh, different kind of things. 
uh, especially when uh, it comes to go. Well, I go. I usually go once a week to do some challenging enrichment, enrichment with the kids in local schools. So okay. it's it's a normal uh, way of my life. So that's why I I'm uh, and I'm teaching pre-service teachers. So okay. um, I will teach math ed course as well, so I can try it with pre-service teachers as well. Wonderful. So, uh, will you be trying things this July, or will you be mostly preparing? It's more uh, uh, to be honest. Uh, I know a lot of things. I will try to be to 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 say what I know about these questions you're asking. Trying to analyze, but I'm already a week late, so I'm trying to to see what I can do. Uh, now, saying that, uh, I, I don't have now any possibility to do anything with the real uh, kids, for example, even adults, because of vacation and, uh, yeah, but I, I will try to contribute in this way right now. So, f- for, for in this case, what you can do is you can talk uh, about the plans, how you would plan these things, yeah. right? I, I sent you a book I published uh, on challenging mathematics. I, I taught in one school, uh, I don't know if you are aware of this uh, of this curriculum in Quebec in Canada, which is called Challenging Mathematics, which is in French. By the way, I'm teaching in French. Okay. So my all, all work is in French. So uh, and I live in the French community in New Brunswick, Canada. Mm-hmm. So uh, now wow. saying that, uh, I, I, I was a teacher, elementary school teacher uh, for eight years in Quebec, so, right. and uh, based on that experience, I wrote the book, and I did the research on that challenging tasks, uh, so. I am really looking forward to what you would do with these problems, so. But, yeah, I'm running also mathematical competition uh, online, uh, Uh, I'm running also a website in French on problem solving. Not necessarily challenging, but still, yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. So I will try to share what I know about the subject. And I try to learn what, because I find that you, uh, your approach is very, to me, it seems to be very interesting and very uh, original. So that's why I like to learn as well. And I find that the way you, you ask people to contribute is also very interesting. And Here comes everybody. People contribute together. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Victor, I am really looking forward to your ideas. In your case, you'll probably do odd-numbered things where you basically it describe how you would do the problems because you're not going to do them, right? So no. there is an assignment one, three, and five that will be next week, the way you look at the problems and just make some plans, right? Uh, well, I yes, I saw it, and I will try also maybe to put a few comments on problems one, two, three as well. Mm-hmm. Yes, please. From my experience uh, with uh, with the other maybe other activities, I can still say what what I think about them. That's so wonderful. I will see. Yeah, I will see how to do this uh, in the remaining part of the week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I will try. It. What would really help too if uh, people have questions there? If you could comment to other people, because you you probably uh, you probably seen them saying, for example, oh. This is wonderful doing it with with toys to model it, but then kids run away and play with toys, <laughs> things yeah. of that nature. So your experience uh, would help to maybe to comment to people if you can can do that. Uh, can you repeat it, please? Uh, just uh, I I was saying that you can comment on what other people do. Oh, yeah, sure. And that would yeah, help yeah, them a I lot will, because of your experience. I will comment on that, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. yeah. I mean, I, I will try to read that. that I, I know, well, the schedule of the course is very tight, <laughs> but yes. anyway, I will try. It's, it's very fast, but um, we'll see what happens. Maybe we yeah. need to slow yeah, down. Yeah, it's fast. <laughs> I mean... 
right? Well, I mean, it's a, I mean, I, I agree with that, but I, I mean, I I'm still a person who likes to read and think. I will, I will, I will write a few things what I'm thinking about those problems, obviously. And I'm, as I said, I'm ready to uh, to try them uh, in a more formal way. Well, if we do it just as a fun activity then I can do it easily. If we need some, collect some data, I will need to go through my university ethical approval. Right. Uh, so that will take a little bit more time. Right. Okay. But I, I really am interested in doing, I'm doing some kind of stuff, uh, which is, which is, I think, uh, which, which complies with your ideas, at least. Uh, it's so wonderful talking to you in person and uh, connecting. Yeah. And uh, thank you uh, f for participating here. Yeah, thank you for your enthusiasm and uh, bringing all this uh, together. You know, um, putting I, all this together. I hope it helps with the dreams. <laughs> That's my hope. Yeah, sure. You're doing great, great stuff, great things. Thank you. I'm going to stop the recording. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay.